Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I got another fun accessory that I'm going to be adding to the interior of my Tesla Model Y, specifically to enhance the look of my wireless charging area down here with some ambient lighting and adding some footwell lights uh, that illuminate down where your feet go. Let's get into it. So we got this ambient light kit from Tesla C. They sent this over with some other products and they know that I enjoy adding different ambient lights and footwell lights and all kinds of things to my Model Y. So they reached out and asked if I'd like to check out this product. Well, of course, I wanted to show you guys it. So let's take a look into it. As you open it up here, you'll see kind of what the product's all about. It's almost like a, an additional bezel, an additional kind of screen that you attach to that wireless charging area inside your um, Model Y, right? Kind of at the bottom there. It takes up one of your wireless charging slots. So you'll have your phone over here, and then this is where you'll actually control the lights of the kit. And it gives you a really nice spot to charge your AirPods if you're into that. If you have your Apple products and you want to charge your AirPods, it works great right there. So moving on from the rest of this, these are the actual ambient lights. So they go, you know, one on each side. We'll kind of tuck them up and around and how they go. But then they just stick up underneath your kind of footwells and broadcast some light down onto your feet. Really cool. Um, then you can actually customize and change the color. So I'm excited for this. It's supposed to be a very super and simple install. Um, so let's get into it and see what it takes to install this in the car. All right, so we're in the front of our Model Y here, and this will also work on a Model 3 if you're interested in that. Um, but I already have some ambient lighting that I've installed up here, so I have a nice kind of red glow going on. But I have the product that we just unboxed, and I'm going to actually just take it and make sure the two kind of footwell lights are nice and off to the side here. i got one over here in my left hand, one over here in my right. Make sure they're coming out the top. And then really all you need to do is just kind of line this up with your, your wireless charging area and there's just a nice space for it and it kind of clips right in. You'll see this blue light turn on, it's getting power and there you go. That's as simple as it is. It fit really nicely. It's nice and snug in there. The uh, chrome kind of trim matches some of the other chrome trim that you have going on in your interior and it's really cool. The ambient lights uh, for the footwells also kind of just started lighting up too and they're all just getting power directly from your wireless charging pad. So that's really cool. No extra wires to hook up and a super simple install. Let's see what it takes to uh, get these little ambient footlights installed too. So now that we have the screen actually installed, we haven't messed with any of the settings yet, but actually you can just take these wires and just kind of tuck them up underneath, you know, any of this little trim piece down here to install these little footwell lights. So once you get it to about that area, keep kind of tucking it underneath and then just kind of decide where you want your actual footwell light to come out. And it's just got some 3M tape kind of on the back of it. Peel off these stickies. And then you can kind of stick it anywhere you want down underneath here. And easily hide all these wires back up in here. It'll uh, cinch up really well. So super simple to install those. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And we'll come back um, with the other side. The same thing over here on the driver's side. You know, tuck up those cables that are coming straight down. Just tuck it into the trim. Super simple. It's nice. It's clean. It's hidden. And then you can take your actual ambient footwell light and add it anywhere you want. Somewhere right up in here would look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that off and get that stuck up there. And we'll come back with an overview and final look. So now that we have the footwell lights installed and the actual screen, super duper simple and actually couldn't be easier to install. No wires or anything to hook up. It's just a simple plug and play, even less than plug and play, set and play. So it's a really nice product, um, kind of high quality. I really like the chrome accents on it. It really kind of sets off your wireless charging pad. Um, if you don't mind not having both of them, I, I think it's a great product. I want to take you through some of the things that you can do on the actual screen here. This is an actual touch screen. So the first thing is a little button, um, and it's just kind of a capacitive button. There's no like actual physical click. So you just touch the middle of the screen, and it turns off everything. So if you don't want the lights, if you're just looking for normal charging or, you know, just a kind of a basic look, you don't want all those lights on, no big deal. Turn them back on with the one push of a button. Super simple. This is an actual touch screen in here. So if I swipe to the left, you can see some different options here. Ambient light state, the color I have it set on, the effect. We'll keep going. Maybe go the other way. There we go. 
atmosphere light lamp setting so you can actually change the color of it. So I obviously like the red. I have a red car, so we're going to click red. And you'll notice it doesn't change right away. What you need to do is go one more screen over, and then you can pick your effect. If you can read this on the screen. Right now it's on this rolling effect with all the different light colors. Click on breathe. It changes to that red. It kind of just like a pulse. You saw it there. Kind of that red pulsing look. Voice is kind of voice activated. I assume it would work well with music as well. That's pretty cool if you like that kind of thing. Hello. I think it's kind of neat. Uh, rolling is that Again, kind of effect. And then just light over here is the actual, just leave it on all the time. A nice kind of red color. Um, so you can change your languages in there. There's one more screen of, you know, even picking, if you don't want one of those base colors on that first screen, you can pick any color on the spectrum here and kind of customize the color to your liking. And then I like this one too. Brightness settings and then sound control. So oftentimes I find these lights are very bright and they get kind of overwhelming. So I like to turn them down. Oop, I lost it. Go back. I like to turn them down to like maybe a two or a three. So it's kind of a nice, oh, just an accent light, right? I don't need it blasting in my face all the time. And then sound control, how sensitive you want it to that like voice control. So that's super cool. Uh, another fun thing you can do is that swiping left and right. If you swipe up on this screen, you can actually change the clock face. This changes it to more of that, oh, like a clock you'd find in like a Cadillac kind of style, that uh, watch face, if you will. I kind of like that. I think those are the only two, this one and this one. It took me a minute to figure this out, but if you want to change the time and the date, you come to this screen and you click on the little wheel over on the side of the watch. Then you can customize your time, uh, the year, the month, the day, hour, and minute. So that's pretty cool too. And let's not try to change any of that. I think I did, but that's okay. Um, so there you go. I think that's really cool. It's a it's a really nice product. It has a lot of customization. If you want to change different colors, you want different effects going on. The footwell lights are neat that they don't get any power from anything else besides your wireless charging pad. Um, and there's there's nothing to like plug in. You don't have to take apart your whole dash or anything crazy like that. So that's really cool. Well, that about wraps up another one. Um, this is a, a really cool and interesting product that's super simple to install, about the easiest kind of install you can do on your Tesla. It's as easy as throwing floor mats in your Tesla and not having to worry about it again. You just kind of plop it down over your wireless charging pad. It splends in seamlessly. There's no kind of, you know, if you didn't know it was in stock, you'd be like, where, where did this come from? I think that's a great kind of feature for a product. I love the chrome accents that match exactly what else is going on in your interior. If you want just that little bit of ambient lighting that kind of makes a difference, this is the product to get. I love the footwell lights. I think they make a big difference here. Before I upload this video, I'm going to overlay some video here of them at night so you can kind of see what all this looks like at nighttime. We'll take some video tonight um, so you can see it. But I think it really adds something to the car. I have it set back to that kind of rolling um, streamer mode, ambient light, whatever you will, with all the rainbow stuff going on. Myself, I like the subtle red or even like a subtle white, I think would really set off the interior of your car. You're changing all your ambient lighting to like a nice uh, subtle white would look really cool at nighttime. I like that little sharp looking red. I think it looks sweet. I like this product a lot. I don't have any AirPods. I wish I could test out the uh, AirPod charging functionality. Um, other videos show that it works just fine though. So um, we're, an we're an Android family. I've always used Android phones. But if you have AirPods and you're looking for a place to charge them in your Model Ys or Model 3s and you don't mind giving up that extra phone slot, this is a great product for that. So big thank you to Tesla C for sending this over to me. Appreciate working with you guys. I think this is going to be a really cool product. If you're interested in it and you want something like this for your own car, a uh, link to it's down in the description below. Uh, also, feel free to use my discount code. It shows up here on the screen, Gamble1080. It really saves big at checkout on Tesla C's website. It helps out the channel. Helps out Tesla C sending me more things. So I appreciate you guys checking this out if you're interested too. Uh, any questions about the product or anything I didn't cover, please let me know down in the description below. I love chatting with you guys uh, in the comments down below. I love chatting with you guys and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.